Hello astronomy students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of the Analemma project, which is one of the options for observing the sun in your long-term observation project. So we're here at my house and I'm going to show you how I have this set up. The key thing about this project is first of all time. Your measurements must be taken at the exact same time on every measurement that you make. Now there's a certain time window that's acceptable, like you can take your measurements anywhere between say noon and one o'clock in the afternoon. 12.35, by the way, is the ideal exact time to take a measurement. If you can do 12.35, that's the ideal, I encourage you to go for it. However, you can pick a time anywhere in that one hour time window. The key thing is that once you pick your time, you need to use the same time for each measurement. So if you take your measurement at 12.15, every measurement needs to be at 12.15. If you take it at 12.55, every measurement needs to be at 12.55 to within just a few seconds. If you're more than 10 seconds off, you've missed it. There are two ways you can take the time measurement and keep it consistent easily. First of all is using the NIST that's the National Institute of Science of Technology website because they keep the official time for the US. It's an atomic clock and they broadcast it out over the internet. Second way, your cell phones are coordinated with towers and satellites and so forth which in turn will be coordinated with the official NIST national time. Personally I set the alarm on my cell phone so that when it goes off I'm sitting there with my pencil ready and the minute it starts or second it starts chirping I take my measurement and I'm good to go. Second key thing about the project is proper alignment of the apparatus. Let me go ahead and show that to you right now. So this is the apparatus. It's just a simple little wooden box type thing on a flat piece of plywood or this is actually an old cabinet I cut up. There's a compass mounted on here to help me with precise alignment and there's a bullet level to help me make sure that the surface here is completely level in all directions. This is already set up. You see how I have some markings here. Uh, my device that I use for my projects is a little bit larger than the one I've built for the college, which is why this won't be an exact fit, but that's okay. Underneath here, you see there's just a small little divot drilled into the sidewalk. The same thing will be true over at the college. The little foot simply rests inside of that. If your surface is not level, the bullet level will tell you, simply adjust the height of the screw to change the level of the plane of the device. This apparatus is basically just a little pinhole projector. Under this little piece of tape I've drilled a hole and then I poked a hole through the tape to make it a little bit smaller. I know that's hard for you to see but there's the there's the hole right there. And quite simply all that happens is it shoots this little projection through. You can see there's the little dot of light right there. We have some clouds at the moment but those will clear up in a few minutes and it'll be more obvious. What you'll be doing to align your project is I'll have what this corner painted on the concrete so you simply will have to make sure that this corner lines up with the corner that's painted over at the community college. To take your measurements is a very, very simple process. Again, timing is the key thing. So if you're doing the cell phone alarm, that's honestly the best way. I've been doing that for a long time and it's worked extremely well for me. I'll be sitting here with my pencil at the ready. It's faint, but you can see it right there. So I'll be sitting here, okay my phone is going 
chirp, 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 the alarm's going off, I simply take my pencil and make a small dot where the sun is casting its little pinhole projection. And then label the date, so October whatever. You don't have to label the time for every observation because again, you're getting it to within a few seconds and that should be sufficient. Now, you're gonna be taking your paper in and out as you record your measurements. So what you will see within the apparatus, which is not gonna show up on the video too well, is there'll be a couple dark markings on the board up here. When you first set your project up, make sure you slip your paper in there. There'll be a line along the edge to make sure that you always slide your paper to the exact same spot every time because the alignment is critical. If it's off, your whole project's gonna be off and neither of us will be happy with that. You'll know how far up to slide it. You'll know which way it's aligned this way. So just make sure you put some markings to match up with the markings on the, the deck of the analimid device. Uh, here you can see the, the sun's projecting a little bit better this time. Of course, I've shifted it all around, so you know it's not actually giving you a legitimate measurement this moment, but that is the basics of how to do an analemma measurement for this project. Remember that you need to get one observation a week. The ideal is seven days apart, but you know, things don't always work out ideally in life. So if you have to do four days or if it's cloudy and you have to do nine days, but it's still, you know, that's, that's close enough. But the goal is as close to one week apart as possible. Just keep an eye on the weather forecast and have fun with it. The, the project does yield some fun results, especially if you continue it from one semester to the next. You'll see the analemma pattern really begin to take shape. That's everything for the measurements. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help if I can. All right, astronomy students, go to it.